All I saw first was that Samuel was a stranger to Saul, first Samuel chapter 9. Saul was blessed by Samuel because God spoke to Samuel. But I just realized in first Samuel chapter 10, every other thing after that was a confirmation that Saul had entered the dimension of strange blessings. Because when strangers bless you, it is strange. Samuel said to him, for Samuel chapter 10, when you go for me today, you will meet two men by Rachel's tomb. You don't know them. They will give to you. When you go for that, you will see men who are going up to the mountain of God. They will give to you. You don't know them. I believe that God is bringing us to that dimension. Strange blessings. People you don't know will begin to look for you. People who don't know will begin to bless you. People you don't know will share information with you. People we do, you, you have never met before, they will be used of God to announce your next season. Samuel said to Saul, stand here a while, let me announce to you. We are meeting for the first time, but there's a grace that came to me before you approached me. I pray and I prophesy to everyone in the house. May this grace go ahead of you in the name of Jesus Christ. As Saul experienced it, it was not just a one-off. He began to experience it repeatedly. I pray that this strange blessing will be repeated within the name of Jesus Christ. Everywhere you appear, where you don't know people, where you don't have connections, grace will be connected to you in the name of Jesus. Men will be speaking on your behalf in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen for this. Even those who don't feel like you belong to their class, they don't have a choice. Listen to me, someone listen to me. What they don't intend to share with you, God will take it from them in the name of Jesus. I'm, I'm seeing, I'm hearing as I'm speaking. First Samuel chapter 10 again. Samuel came to the company of prophets. The average prophet will not allow Saul to prophesy. Saul rather not Samuel. Saul came into their midst. Nobody impacted him. Nobody shared the secret with him. The spirit came upon him by God. I pray for someone here. If they will not release what you need, God will bring you in supernaturally in the name of Jesus Christ. God will bring you in supernaturally in the name of Jesus. I pray for someone here. There will be a supernatural connection. You will get it without any leg of man in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, can someone say, Lord, thank you for sorting me out. Lord, thank you for sorting me out. There's a sorting out. God is sorting you out. There is a strange thing. You can't explain it. You, you, you don't even understand it. It's not the people you think will do it that will do it. It's Saul also among the prophets. You don't have that net worth yet. You don't have that high net worth. But God is plugging you to that high net worth. All the ghosts. Thank you, Father. <laughs> oh. Someone help us. You are going to pray a simple prayer. Someone, I think I can take your seat. Please don't forget what I said. God is honoring you. Listen to this. It's Saul also among the prophets. For Samuel chapter 10. They didn't expect that he could perform on that pedestal. It was too high for him. No qualification. He didn't belong because it was a spiritual terrain. He, he could not operate there. And I'm hearing for someone here. Levels that people believe you can't get to God will plug you there. You know, you have to understand what's going on here. I never thought of any of this before I climbed up here. There's just something strange that is going to happen. I don't know where it is, but before you end this year, you will look back and know this was not my plan. It was better than my projections in the name of Jesus Christ. What is happening to you now? God is changing your plans. Listen to me. Samuel was waiting only for what God said he would do. Saul did not know what he was going into. It was not part of his plan to become a king. It was not part of his plan to prophesy. Is someone with me here? All he went for was to look for lost asses. Then God changed his plan. I believe as I speak, God is about to do what you did not project before. It will be better than your projections in the name of Jesus. It will be better than your plans in the name of Jesus. It will be better than what you have ever thought about in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for someone here. He says, my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. 
I feel like God wants us to pray. I feel like he wants us to pray. There's a change of plans in the house. Can you just begin to thank the name of the Lord first of all? This is a Thanksgiving service. This is a Thanksgiving service. Oh, just, just thank him. Just thank him. There's a change of plans. Something is about to happen to someone there. Something is about to happen. You don't understand it. You are, it says, my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. My ways are higher than it says. It says in Jeremiah 29, 11, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. They are thoughts of good and not evil. To give you a hope and an excellent life. Just bless you. Someone bless you. Just thank him. Thank him first of all. Just thank him first of all. That he has already prepared some things. That he has positioned. Hello, Shanta Baba. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Now the first prayer you will pray as I hear is this. The Bible says, commit your ways unto the Lord. He will direct your path. I see a redirection. I see a cost correction. The way you are going is not the perfect way. But God wants to give you a cost correction. Can you say, Lord, take over my plans this year. Take over my projections this year. Take over my plans this year. Lord, correct my plans. Make it perfect according to your will. Commit your ways. You are already on the way. You are already moving. Samuel was waiting. When Saul was to change his plan, he said, By Sabbath, let us go to the man of God, that he may show us the way. But shall we take to the man of God, that he may show us the way? Lord, where I am walking, and there's no way there, reveal to me what else I need to do. I commit my ways unto you. Lord, take it over. Take over my plans. Take over my projections. Take over my plans. Someone pray to Take over my projections. Lord, take over my plans and my projections. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I commit my ways unto you. All my expectations for the year 2022. Take it over. I ask that you will take it over. Lord, take it over. Direct it. Direct it. Direct it. Yep, Direct it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Listen to this. In Jesus' name. In Proverbs chapter 16, verse 2, the Bible says, Commit your works unto the Lord. He will establish your thoughts. Whatever you are working on, commit unto the Lord. What you are still thinking before you start working on it, God will establish it. Which means God will overtake you. Before you finish thinking, He has started acting. Can you say, Lord, take over my thoughts in the name of Jesus Christ? My thoughts, let them be higher thoughts. Let them be higher thoughts. Take over my thoughts. Lord, take over my thoughts. Lord, take over my thoughts. I commit my works unto you. I commit my mindset. I commit my thinking. I commit my attitude. I commit my feelings. I commit my way of life. I commit my lifestyle. I ask that you will take over. Let the Lord take over. There's a grace in the house. There's a covenant grace. Let the Lord take over. Lord, take over. Lord, take it over. Lord, take it over. Lord, take it over. But I'm still thinking. Oh, brother, brother. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, hear this. In Psalm 39, verse 2, I believe. The psalmist says, While I was yet thinking, while I was yet musing, the fire burned. I know what that means. When your thought is right, there'll be a confirmation. I want you to pray and say, Lord, when I get it right in my thinking, let that be a sign and a confirmation in the name of Jesus Christ. Anytime you get it right, God will confirm it. Anytime my plans are right, anytime my thoughts are right, anytime my projections are perfect, I receive a divine confirmation. While I was musing, there was a fire, there was a confirmation. There was an evidence that I'm in the frequency of the spirit. There was a reasoning that connected to the wisdom of God. Not let my reasoning, my reasoning will connect to the wisdom of God in the name of Jesus Christ. As I was musing, as I was thinking, there was a divine confirmation. The fire began to burn. Lord, I received that divine confirmation. Lord, when I get it right in my plans, in my projections, I receive divine confirmation. When I get it right in my plans and my projections, I receive divine confirmation. 
I receive divine confirmation. Lord, I receive that divine confirmation by the spirit of grace. By the spirit of grace. By the spirit of grace. Come on, Baba. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. In Genesis 37, verse 5, Joseph came and announced his best level of thought. I have a dream. And the man who says his brothers hated him. Then he came back in verse 9 and said, I have yet another dream. Receive me another dream. You know what I'm hearing, what I'm seeing, what I'm feeling, what I'm thinking. Before you run with that low level of thinking, God will item it in Jesus. Until Joseph had another dream, God did not start orchestrating the fulfillment. You will pray a simple prayer. Lord, where my level of thinking is still low, where what I'm working on is still low, where my faith is weak, Lord, I think it in the name of Jesus Christ. Can you pray for yourself right now? Another dream. Someone believe God for another one. Another dream. Another dream. Where what I am thinking, my mindset is still on a low level. I receive the activation of my thoughts in the name of Jesus. Lord, connect me to higher thoughts. Higher thoughts. My thoughts are higher than yours. My ways are higher than yours. Once your thinking changes, your results will change. Someone pray to the Lord. I receive that divine connection. My thoughts will rise. My thought level will rise. My mindset will change. I receive Lord God expansion of my faith. My faith enlarges. I receive Lord a large heart. Oh, the lion does not turn away from me. I receive the impartation of higher dimension. Higher dimension. Higher dimensions of life. Someone believe God. Pray. Lord, connect me with higher dimensions of life. Another dream. Higher dimensions of faith. Another dream. Higher dimensions of thought. Another dream. to me that this service this morning is to correct the lives the roots that we're taking to the future the Lord is saying to someone here there's a cause correction everything you are doing and you will miss it along the way God will correct it now it says in Isaiah chapter 20 verse 31 you will hear a word behind you when you come to a point where you want to turn to the right or the left you will begin to hear God clearly in the name of Jesus Christ can someone say maybe a little louder? God will take over our thinking faculties. Hear me, people of God. You will not miss it this year. You will not miss it this year. You will not miss it this year. Every step you take from after this service will always be the perfect move in the name of Jesus Christ. Nothing will go wrong with your life anymore. You will not take the path where you will be stuck in the name of Jesus Christ. From now, I ask the Lord. The psalmist says in Psalm 23 verse 1, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He restores my soul. Holy Ghost. Someone God is saying to you, you will enter rest this year in the name of Jesus. The Lord is my shepherd. Then it makes, it makes me lie down. I pray again in the name of Jesus Christ. As God begins to guide you this year, you will know fulfillment and peace of mind in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Father in heaven, we say thank you. Thank you for taking charge of our plans and projections. Thank you for guiding us away from the path of frustration. Thank you for guiding us into what you have already orchestrated. And thank you, Lord, for strange things, strange things, strange promotions, 
strange appointments, strange opportunities, strange release of documents. Strange to describe. Your re the release of that document will be a strength in the name of Jesus Christ. I hear what for someone here. Who is he that speaks and it comes to pass when the Lord has not commanded it? The Lord says, I shall announce to someone here. Don't listen to any man whose breath is in the street. Listen to the word of God. Who has the final say? Oh, that is the son somebody was saying. Who has the final say? Jehovah. Jehovah. Jehovah has the final say. Can, can we do that song? Can we do that song? Do you know the song? Do you know the song? I want song. Listen to this. This is a song of faith. No matter what you are told as negative, the word of the Lord says, Who is it that speaks and it comes to pass when the Lord has not commanded it? Any negative speaking over you, it is cancelled now in the name of Jesus. What listen to me, listen to me. This word came maybe some two, three weeks ago in the book of Micah, chapter two. An angel came and measured, I, I think it's a guy, measured the walls of Jerusalem and said, These are the measurements. Before it left, another angel came and said, There's a change of plans. What that limit represents God is removing the limits around our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. So the Lord is saying to someone here, whatever the doctors have told you, whatever any man has told you, it's not the final say. Only God has a final say. I'm sure you are ready for grace. Someone here first heard this. As we were writing, I was dancing and I was receiving. And I heard very clearly, Acts chapter 16, there was this jailer who kept Paul and Silas in prison. And so when they began to sing praises to God, all of a sudden, out of the blues, something supernatural happened out of the blues. The chains of every prisoner were loose. I'm sure you've heard the story before. Then that jailer came and said, Man, <laughs> what must I do to be saved? And the Lord says, I should tell someone here, so the jailer was not supposed to respect them. He was supposed to arrest them. But when he saw the sign of grace upon them, he respected them. And the Lord says, I shall announce to someone here, those who, will, who are supposed to react against you now, they will respect you. Yeah. Did someone hear that? They are supposed to react against you. They are supposed to punish you. They have been meaning to deal with you but when they see you by this grace they will bow to you in the name of Jesus Amen. nothing will go wrong around you anymore I pray for someone here these prayers these prayers that you are presented before God before this altar first I hear for someone here, you have some pain in your leg hear this Ezekiel says in Ezekiel 47 I saw from the east side, from under the altar, there was a river that was flowing. When it continued to flow, it became a healing river. Everywhere it went, there was healing. As this grace flows, I speak healing to our bodies in the name of Jesus Christ. Every dysfunction in your physiology, in your biology, in your body, I receive that healing anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever you inherit, I hear inherited. Whatever you inherited, May this healing touch your roots in the name of Jesus Christ. Hereditary illnesses, God will deal with them in the name of Jesus Christ. And today I announce, I announce by the spirit of grace, every prayer you present today that you have made up your mind to seek God for, may light shine upon them from above in the name of Jesus Christ. When Jesus prayed, the Bible says the veil of the temple was rent from the top. Whatever has cordoned you off from grace, I command today that barrier is finished in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus said it is finished and there was a sign that that was the end of a phase. As you pray this prayer, God will launch your new season in the name of Jesus. God will launch you to a new dimension in the name of Jesus. Whatever you have sought God for, you have heard from Him, there will be a sign that God is backing you up now in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, you will turn out well. Your children will do well. Whatever you are working on, it will work out well. There will be nothing missing, nothing broken. Today, let 
Paul and Silas sang is whatever has tied you down to the past, let the power of God break it now in the name of Jesus. I speak progress to your life. I speak progress to your life. You have sat to this mountain long enough. You receive divine direction in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Someone that you have sown seed, you have sown money, you have not seen the answer. May the Lord bless all your offerings in the name of Jesus. May the Lord remember your offerings and bless you with grace in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. There's someone here. You are always weeping. But it says, I should tell you, you will weep no more. You will weep no more. You will weep no more. Weeping may endure from the night. You have come to your new season. Joy comes in the morning. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Lord, thank you for strange blessings. Blessings from the hands of strangers. People we don't know, God will use them to bless us. People you have not met before, they will open their bosom and they will bless you beyond your imagination. Thank you, Father. 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 I pray one prayer for everyone here. Jesus prayed and said, Lord, do not take them away from the world. I ask that the Lord may be glorified where you have been written off. Now you'll be celebrated in the name of Jesus. Saul left home with a problem. He returned home with a bigger solution to the one he sought for. I pray that for everyone who started this year looking for solutions, before this year will end, God will give you more than you asked for in the name of Jesus. Saul did not ask for the throne. God prepared it for him. Saul was not sure he could do it. And I pray for everyone here. Because what I see is that what you are believing God for is still too small. And I see that very clearly. God is going to blow your mind. He's going to give you higher prayer points. He says, my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. I pray and prophesy. May God take your thinking level to a new dimension. Oh, your breakthrough will surprise you in the name of Jesus. Listen to me. In Luke chapter 5, Peter said, Nevertheless, verse 5, at your word, I will cast out the nets. When he believed the word, like you are believing this promise today, by the time the word will work it out, Peter was surprised. As a matter of fact, he left fishing. He looked at the five. He began to run after Jesus. He changed direction. He changed profession. Why? This is more than my size because his net was breaking. He called the partners. The two boats were sinking. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. When God will answer you with these prayers, you will be surprised in the name of Jesus Christ. Your answers will come with pleasant surprises in the name of Jesus. You will exceed your expectations. Your favor will be more than your size. Oh, your favor will be more than your size. And I speak over someone here. The Bible says, Your warfare is ended. Isaiah chapter 40. Someone here says, Today you begin to celebrate God because your warfare has ended. No more stress in your prayers in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak this word as a son in the realm of the spirit. Your warfare is ended in the name of Jesus. He says in Isaiah chapter 40, comfort. For verse 1, comfort. Yes, comfort my people. Why do you need comfort? The pressures, the pains upon your soul, they are lifted. But right now, you will celebrate the pleasures of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. If you know that God has honored you today, can you celebrate this year? Yes, God. Whatsoever the Lord does shall be forever. Nothing can be added. Nothing can be subtracted. You know what I'm hearing? God is not just the everlasting king. He does everlasting things. May the answers you receive, may they last for a long time in the name of Jesus. May the responses from heaven you will get, may they last you to several generations in the name of Jesus. Father in heaven, you are the everlasting father, the everlasting king. Your word says, even before we ask, you have answered. 
We didn't ask for this. Just as Saul did not ask for the throne. Someone hear this? When God wants to honor you, he gives you things you have not asked for. We did not ask for this today. Saul did not ask for the throne. But he says, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. They are thoughts of good to give you a future and an expected end. Jeremiah 29, 11. And Father Lord, that new future you have opened up, we commit it unto you. Your word says you are the one that opens and no man shuts. Thank you, Lord, for everlasting blessings. Thank you for enduring blessings. Thank you for generational blessings. And thank you, Lord, for causing our joy to last in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless your name forever. And everyone in the house says about amen. Sometimes you need knowledge to understand how to get intense. The Bible says God has gone up with a shout. When you raise your voice, you lift yourself higher in spirit. When you have issues that have defied solutions and you are in God's presence, the Bible says in Revelation chapter 5, an angel cried with a loud voice, who will open this scroll? Sometimes you have to let loose your soul. So that you can soar in the realm of the spirit. I'm not just singing with passion for nothing. I'm seeing something. I'm feeling something. I need you to get into that dimension. You will sing that song again and let the heavens open up. Let the word of God reach down. Let your spirit soar. Let it be clear that today you touch base with grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Can we do it one more time? shall be forever. There shall be no reversal of your blessing. It says, I'm the one that opens no man shuts. This grace will last you throughout your race in life. Nothing will disfavor you anymore. Nothing will put a veil over your prayer path. From today you will enjoy divine presence. It says in Psalm 16 verse 11, at his right hand there are pleasures forevermore. May you continue to enjoy pleasure out of life. Grace multiplies with you. In Jesus' name. Now can your amen be loud. I want to ask you to take your seat because we are closing the service.